Welcome to Virtual Court Kiosk Training, Managing the Kiosk Schedule. This is Module 6 of 7. Host sites have the option of using their own schedule management system or using the scheduling platform Flexbooker. Flexbooker is free for host sites. Some advantages of using Flexbooker are users can manage their kiosk reservations online. The host site can manage the available hours, closures, and buffer times between appointments. Flexbooker sends automated email and text reminders to a user about their reservation. Reservation management requirements. If your host site chooses not to use Flexbooker, there are some requirements the host site must adhere to. Number one, caution must be taken to ensure that users have enough time for their hearings. For example, some court notices will say that the docket call takes place at 9 a.m., but the case may not be called until 11 a.m. as the judge takes time to work through their docket. When users call to schedule a reservation, make sure to reserve at least the next three hours from the time the user is requested to avoid any double booking issues. This is already the default setting in Flexbooker. Number two, host sites must commit to making scheduling available to users during the host site's normal business hours. Booking a reservation, the user experience. Let's go over the process for a user to book a reservation. To book a reservation, the user would go to tlsc.org kiosks. Then they would click the Find a Kiosk button. The site then scrolls down to a section where a user can find a kiosk. There's a list view and a map view. On the list view, users can filter by the city that they're in to see kiosk details. For example, if the user was in Brownwood, Texas, the user would click the Brownwood button to see the information on reserving the Brownwood Virtual Court Kiosk location at the Brownwood Public Library. This site currently manages their own schedule and does not use Flexbooker. The entry indicates the user needs to call to reserve. They offer privacy for video meetings and that printing is available. The user could either call the number on the entry or click the Call Now button to call directly if they're on a cell phone. Users can also see the map view. They would just click the map view button and the map would appear. Here, they can visually see what location looks closest to them. So let's say the user lives in Austin, Texas. They would click the marker that's on Austin. When they do, an entry would pop up showing them the name of the host site, the address, the hours, the phone number, and whether there's privacy available for video meetings and if there's a printer available. They can click the word directions to be taken to Google Maps to get directions to the kiosk. Finally, for sites that use Flexbooker, like Little Walnut Creek Branch, Austin Public Library, a user can also click the Reserve Here button to reserve a session online. When they click that button, they'll be taken to the Flexbooker page. They click the forward arrow to go to the day they would like to reserve, and then click the time they would like to reserve. For this example, let's say the user is trying to book for August 28, 2023 at 9 a.m. Once they click the time they want to reserve, the screen to confirm the reservation would pop up. Right now, to make sure there are no double booking issues, all sites have a minimum reservation of three hours and a one hour buffer between reservations. On the confirm reservation page, the user would put in their first and last name, email address, phone number, and any notes. They can also check the box to be reminded by email and or text message. Once they click Save Reservation, they're all done. Getting started with Flexbooker. If your host site would like to use the Flexbooker software to manage virtual court kiosk reservations, we can set up accounts for however many staff members need access to manage the reservations. Host sites can have one account for each staff member who will be managing it, or one that's shared for the entire organization. Once the accounts are configured, each account will receive an invitation to join the platform. The staff members would click the Get Started button to confirm the information and set up their password. Once set up, each account can log into the overall account at any time to view the upcoming reservations, update the location's hours, block off times the site is closed, and change any other settings. 
the Flexbooker homepage and managing reservations. Once a user logs in, they'll be taken to the homepage, which will show all upcoming reservations. From there in the top bar, you can also click to go to the calendar, reports, and setup pages. You can view, change, or cancel your reservations directly from the home page. When you log in to the Flexbooker account, you'll see the list of upcoming kiosk reservations on the home page under Upcoming Appointments. You can also view them by clicking on the calendar and viewing them by month, week, or day. To make a change to an existing reservation, click on it. It will bring up the details screen. From there, you can edit the details or cancel the reservation entirely. Click Save Appointment to save your changes. You can also click Cancel Appointment to cancel it, and it will notify the user. Users will be notified if you change or cancel a reservation unless you choose not to notify them. You can also update your location's reservable hours online. To learn more about this, please see the support site. Placing a block in your Flexbooker schedule. Sometimes you may want to prevent people from reserving your kiosk on a specific day and time, such as a holiday. This is called blocking. To do this, first log into your Flexbooker account. Next, from the home page, click on the word calendar in the heading. Third, once you're on the calendar page, you can view your upcoming reservations by month, week, or day. Click the green Create button and a drop-down menu will appear. Then click the words New Block. Configure your block by adding the date and a name for the event. For what kiosk, you can select either the name of your location from the list or everyone. Please note, if you choose to name the block, then that title will appear on the calendar. You can also create repeating blocks by toggling the Repeat Block option. Make sure the start and end times match the time that you would like to block and then click Save. You should now see the block on the calendar view. External calendar integrations. You can sync your existing calendar with the kiosk calendar. To learn more about managing schedules and reservations for your virtual court kiosk, refer to the Texas support site.